Well, it doesn't happen every day, but it is a tremendous joy. You'll notice a section in our bulletin that says, and I hope you, you captured the, the flavor of this this season, for unto us a child is born. We have had several, actually, in the last few months, and it is wonderful to see our church family growing biologically as well as in other ways. It is truly um, a fantastic thing to have the little ones among us and to have uh, our babies in our midst. It gives us hope for a very bright future. I don't know if they are available at this time, but I am wondering if Trevor and Kiriath and Jace are available to come forward or if they are occupied caring for their little one. At this time, I would like to invite the Stiles family forward, Trevor, Kiriath, and Jace. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a sermon on Simeon's song. Simeon was a prophet who waited around the temple in the time of Jesus, along with a prophetess named Anna, because they were anticipating the birth of their Messiah. And when Simeon saw the baby, he blessed him and said, My eyes have seen my salvation. Now I can rest. We see our salvation ultimately in the babe of Bethlehem this season. We see our salvation in the one who was and is and is to come, the word made flesh. But we also see a kind of small s salvation in the eyes of our own children. For they are beautiful and they remind us of the life that is yet ahead and the joy to come. Congratulations to you both on the birth of this beautiful boy. A dedication is your chance to say publicly, I want to present my child to God. The time of the Bible uh, was being lived, not written even, time of Christ. He was presented at the temple for that blessing, but primarily it was a bris. He was to be circumcised and given a name on the eighth day. That tradition comes down to us in Christianity, uh, in some churches as christening and in our church as a dedication. And so you present him to God as a gift today, which was very common for firstborn babies to be dedicated to God in that way. And now we do all children that way. And the other part of it is about you. It's about a statement that you're making, that you want to raise this child in the way that he should go. It is your intention to teach him of Jesus and Christ's love. It is your intention to raise him to be not just a fine and noble human being, but a fine and noble Christian human being who will carry forth the values that we all hold so dear. And in the end, it's not just about you. It's also about your extended family, and I saw your mother earlier, Trevor. There we go. And your brother and other there, the whole family. Would you stand, please, for just a moment, please? Would everybody welcome the extended family, please? Thank you. Thank you. It's about their commitments to you and to this child, and it's also about this congregation. You see before you a variety of people, various family groups, faces, different ethnicities and nationalities represented here, diversity that mirrors our society. And yet this is a family. It's now your family. And it's a family that is going to commit itself to teaching your child of the love and grace of Jesus Christ as we, as we have him in crater role, as we have him in youth. All through, all through that process, our commitment is to journey with you and with Chase as you raise him to be the child that he is, yours and God's. So at this time, I would like to formally dedicate him. I'm wondering if he'll come to me. He's young enough that he just might. Are you going to spit up on me? Huh? Mm, what a beautiful baby. All right. We're all right. So I'm just going to invite you now to uh, pray with me, if we can, we can bow our heads. Lord, I hold in my hands a gift so precious it's incomprehensible. Life. And that's what you've brought us, this season and always. And so we're so grateful, and we're so happy. 
and we celebrate this moment. I thank you for this young life, for Jace. I ask that you will bless his parents, Trevor and Kiriath, with wisdom and grace and knowledge and understanding, patience, persistence. I pray that you'll bless all who will teach him and all who will encourage him. May we be the congregational family to him that you would have us be. Protect him, care for him, watch over him, keep him. May he grow to be a fine and noble human being, one that, who's in face, who, who in the face of we can see Jesus. This is our prayer. Amen. 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 Okay, I don't want to let go. <laughs> I have for you a certificate, two actually. One you can frame if you like, and the other can go in a baby book or whatever you would like to do. It says simply, In keeping with the example set by Jesus, whose parents presented him in the temple to be counted among God's people and given a name, suffer the children to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Jace Absalom Styles, And so we are delighted that, that we can have this privilege with you today, and we wish you every success as you raise him. These are commitment certificates, so I do hope that you'll sign them. He might ask you about that someday. Hey, why didn't you sign my certificates? So when you get home, take a moment and sign those, and may God bless you both. All right, thank you.